peace to the family, man. What's going on, man? It's our boy, Coach Malachi Williams. Um, I got a chance to watch the replay of the Deontay Wilder Zayli Zane fight last night. And the fight happened just the way I predicted what I told you guys was going to happen in the lead up to the fight and what I told you guys was going to happen on Friday. You bomb squad members who load up Deontay Wilder, nothing wrong with that, right? But what you guys got to realize is this here. Wilder was never a good fight. He has a resume that was built up on knocking out tomato cans and bombs. Those are the facts. Every elite fighter he stepped into the ring with, he got his ass whipped. Wilder has been knocked out in three of his last four fights. Um, he got knocked out twice against Deont twice against Tyson Fury. Um, he and he got knocked out against Zayli Zane. So his last two fights with Tyson Fury, he got knocked out. He beat Joseph. He beat on um, Robert Hellenius. He went the distance with uh with uh he went the distance with um uh, uh, Joseph Parker, and he got knocked out against Zayli Zane. So three of his last five fights, he got knocked out. We'll just say that. This guy doesn't have a jab. He telegraphs his right hand. He has terrible footwork. I told you guys this here, right? Y'all caught on on the skin color politics and the melatonin. Well, he hit Zay Lee Zane with the right hand quite a few times. You remember that? All he got to do is land that right hand where he landed the right hand. And what happened? Zay Lee Zane ate it because he was lifting his leg up when he was throwing the right hand and telegraphing it. He was never that good. He made a lot of money. He's rich. It's time for him to retire. I, listen, this Deontay Wilder, this was the same fool that you niggas from the slow learner disability Boston community was threatening me over. Yeah, nigga, yeah, you better not go to a fight. But then the six fights ain't nothing happened. You get what I'm saying? Like, again, I, I get it. The ball squad, he did really good for himself. But this guy has no defense. He got knocked out with a trap counter. Let me show you what a trap counter is. Zayli Zane was in the high guard. He notices that when every time Deontay Wilder threw the right hand, he was overextending himself, one. He was telegraphing it, two. And Deontay Wilder did not understand foot placement in that match. So Zayli Zane noticed that every time he threw his right hand, he doesn't bring his left hand back, his lead hand, to, to, cover, to, cover, the left side of, to cover the left side of his face, right? He noticed that. So when Wilder throw the backhand, the left side of the jaw is wide open. So the only thing Zay Lee Zang, Zang did was he set a trap by sitting in the high guard, waiting for Wilder to throw the backhand again. You know, when he threw the backhand, he slipped it and came over the top with the, with the right cross and knocked him out. He hit the boy so hard. Do you remember? Do you, do you remember on Friday he was doing the spin move like he was Michael Jackson? He, he, he was spinning around doing the 360 spin. In the Zayli Zane fight, he got hit so hard, the man did a 360 spin and went to try to complain to the referee. And when he turned his head to try to talk to the referee, he got knocked out. I told y'all this was going to happen. Skin color politics don't work in boxing. Skills pay the bills. The man was never that good. wasn't good at all fam those are that's the reality of the situation and them Tyson Fury fights took everything out of him he don't his punch resistance is gone his jaw is gone and he got skinny legs the man don't do squats you, and then he got Malik Scott training him I like Malik Scott as a person but Malik Scott is trash you got a trash trainer a trash team you got a team full of yes men and I like those guys over there I, I like them I'm trying I like Joey Scott he's a good guy you know, uh, Don House is a good guy. You know, uh, Malik Scott is a good guy. But, dude, it ain't working. They probably good for being your homeboys and your friends, but when it comes to boxing, it ain't working. And anything that the slow learning disability boxing community, better known as the LDBC, get behind loses. Go to go to the Wakanda Digger YouTube channels and listen to their predictions. Every time, everybody who they pick, lose. They roll with Deontay Wilder. He got his ass knocked out three times. They roll with doggone Errol Spence. He got the brakes beat off of him by, by, um, by, um, by Bud. They roll with doggone uh, Devin Haney. You saw what doggone uh, Ryan Garcia did to him. 
Anybody who they roll with lose. If you want to make some money in boxing, look at Job of the Hut. Look at what the Slow Learner Disability Boxing Community do. Dog on the meter maid, Officer Drew, and the dog on the dude who got the uh, 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 the nigga from Texas boyfriend. Anybody who they pick, anybody who they pick lose. And shout out to Blue Blood Sports CB, but Blue, you a part of this too. Anybody who you pick lose, like it, it is what it is. I'm just being honest with you. You niggas over there with the slow learning disability of the boxing community is bad luck. They slap rock. I told y'all that. They slap rock. When you got a bunch of losers riding with you, you ain't you bound to lose. This man did a 360 Michael Jackson spin in the ring and got knocked out with a right hook. People kept talking about, well, all he got to do is land that right hand, but you forgot the, you forgot the right hand that Zay Lee Zane had. Wasn't it the right hand that landed that knocked Wilder out? Yes. Is Bomb Squad dead? Absolutely. Bomb Squad is dead. It's over. You get what I'm saying? The king of Zamunda has retired. Wakanda is dead. It's over with. Y'all gotta find another, y'all gotta find another black fighter to get behind. Yeah, you know, I don't need y'all ride with the, with the black fighters no more. Every time you slow learn a disability about the community niggas ride with a black fighter, we lose. We tired of taking L's, dog. Y'all, y'all gotta go start riding with some white fighters. Change the race, change the nationality. Ride with some Puerto Rican fighters or ride with some Mexican fighters or something. Leave the black fighters alone. Y'all are the death of the black fighters. Period. The slow learning disability the boxing community, better known as the Alphabet Boys, better known as uh, 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 Jabba the Hutt and his crew, the Butter Biscuit Boxing Community. Man, look at man, Wilder look like he was dead last night, man. The man looked like he was dead, head laid on the rope. He said he wanted to catch a body in the ring. Guess what? You were the body that got caught, sir. To this day, you were the body that got caught. Facts. You said that you were going to stand on Zay Lee Zane. I'm going to stand over his body like Muhammad Ali did Sonny Listen in 65. Well, guess what? Zay Lee Zane stood over your body like Muhammad Ali did dog on Sonny Listen in 65. You was the body that was laid out, sir. It's over with. Good news is you made a lot of money. You get to fly back home on your private jet. But pack it up, Wilder. It's over with. You were never an elite fighter. You was never an elite fighter, fam. You was a, you was a PBC hype job. They hype you up. You know what I mean? You knocked out a bunch of tomato cans and bombs. You was 40 and 0 at one point, knocking out bombs. And then when you stepped up in, stepped up in competition, you brought Tyson Fury out of retirement from 700 pounds smoking crack. He whooped your ass twice, knocked you out twice. You know what I mean? And then, doggone, Joseph Parker had you doing a Harlem Shake, doing this, bucking your eyeballs, hammer punches. You was doing hammer punches last night, man. I thought it was hammer time. Windmill punches. You get what I'm saying? Like, come on, fam. Anyways, Wilder, salute to you, brother. Bomb Squad. You know, I'm not a part of the Bomb Squad. Needs. I'm telling you, I'm not a part of this. I ain't never was. Um, but, you, but, but you lost again like I knew you were. And um, you got to shake them buzzard luck dudes, man. You keep robbing. See, y'all don't learn, man. Y'all so hard-headed and stubborn. And that's the problem. And I'm going to tell you something, Wilder. This is for Mark Breeley. Until you do right by Mark Breeley, you ain't going to win no big fights. Because the guy who got you to where you was at, who taught you how to throw the jab, was Mark Breeley. The guy who taught you how to set that right hand up properly was Mark Breeley. And you defecated on him and you, and, and you fired that man for no reason. You let Malik Scott weasel his way in there to get the head coaching job and you see how that worked out. You got rid of a good man, Mark Breeley, the brother man, and then, and then and now this is what's going on. Mark Breeley probably laughing right now, as he should be. You get what I'm saying? Again, the Chi listen, they taking turns kicking wild the ass. The Chinese man kicking his ass. The white man kicking his ass. Dog on a Samoan. Joseph Parker kicking his ass. They taking turns whooping this dude, man. Like, literally. It's like the Rainbow Coalition. Bro, it's like we got the dog on the United Nations of boxing. They coming from all over the world taking turns whooping Samoan ass, man. Whooping Wakanda ass, man. It is what it is, man. Shout out to everybody, man. I see you guys at 3 o'clock. You know my motto, don't meet me there, beat me there. Peace. Bomb Squad is dead. Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go. Come on.